Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm trying another bonefish fly. This is the Wabnitz worm. Uh, it was devised for worm feeding fish on Christmas Island, I believe. But, I mean, it works all over the place, worm flies are. I think sometimes overlooked, but well worth, well worth a place in your box if you're fishing for bones. And I'm sure like bream or other species will take them too. So, as always, there will be a materials list in the description, along with a link to Patreon for anybody who would like to sign up and be eligible for future giveaways, and a link to some social media. So I've got my hooking device, this is a size 6, you can tie them in 8s as well. I'm just going to run on some fire orange thread. Take it all the way along the shank. And back. And I'll tie in my weight, in this case I'm using bead chain eyes. And leave them at least an out. The width of the, the bead chain back from the eye of the hook. And then the next thing I want to tie in is some D rib, which is clear. This is medium. I take the thread. All the way at the back. Or if you snap your thread, you just pull the tag in tight, tie over the top. That's nice and secure. So for the underbody, I'm using some root beer crystal flash, so I'm just going to take half a dozen strands or so catch them in at the front there trim away the waste and I'll just figure out these through the eyes then go back along the body. And then wind back to the back to the front. Okay, that we check, try to make sure I've covered everything. That's fine, tie that off. This one short fibre away that I don't like. Head up then. Just make sure everything's nice and tight at the back there. I'll pull this D rib nice and tight, or the vinyl rib. And I've got to take it forward in open spirals. It'll come through between the eyes. that up, tie it off, and tie over, leaving myself a nice smooth base and then I'll invert the fly. These four strands that I've got left are this, I'll just fold back, get a few wraps over the top and I'll trim them just past the back of the hook, like that. Now the worm section, we'll take a bit of a uh, 
micro switch and you could use standard if you like but I think the micro is fine for this size now one of the sort of problems with this fly was that people were having was the the bonefish would you would lose the the chenille because it would be getting pulled out if it was just tied like this straight in so I'm actually going to reverse tie it um, there is a variation where the the D rib is tied over the chenille but I quite like having the worm sticking up so I've tied it down to the hook eye and I'm going to fold it back and tie over it and then I'm just going to tidy everything up just take your time I mean probably doesn't make any difference to the fish if you don't cover it up but I like to cover it up give myself a nice neat nose on the fly a nice neat head just coming a whip finish Nice and snug too, what finishes. Trim the waist. We'll come in first of all with some super glue. Cover the thread wraps. And then I'll just touch it like that and that just sticks down any if there's any wee fibres or thread or anything fuzzy, it just sticks it down. And then I'll come in with some head cement. And I'll, I'll fairly flood this in between the bead chain eyes. Make sure everything's sealed and covered up. The, the head cement, the varnish, prevents the super glue from blooming once it's been in contact with the salt water. So you don't get those sort of nasty white spots and you keep your nice clean head. So the last thing to do, I'll just come in. I want the worm about a, a shank length off the back of the hook. So any more than that and it might get content to tangle. Then I'll just come in just melt the end to a wee point. And there you go, that's it, that's the Wabnitz one fly. Can be a really effective pattern. Um, well worth a, a try on like sand flats where there are worms, especially on days you're getting refusals. So hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did Please uh, remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lines guys. Bye.